All right, so I had a recent request from a user on here who goes by just vacuums and carpet cleaners. You know who you are. Um, he wanted to know how the touch-up did as he had recently acquired a touch-up model as opposed to the roommate, which has already been tested. So <clears throat> both of them have <laughs> flaws and I've kind of thought, you know, maybe I should take good parts and make one completely fixed machine. Because my roommate, it's uh, the piece that keeps it upright is broken. This bottom uh, cord hook is broken. And uh, the touch-up has an issue with the upper cord hook. So, you know, obviously that's not available, so I improvised. But they are very, very similar machines with a few minor differences to them. This one has an after filter to it. Now, this isn't, you know, a genuine after filter, nor am I going to seek one out. So I just used a piece of, like, cut-to-fit foam. And then this one doesn't have an after filter. And then the other difference that I can think of... <clears throat> is uh, the touch-up is a 4-amp machine, where this is a 2.5-amp machine. Of course, we'll see, you know, if that's actually true or not once we take the wattages of them. But, uh, yeah. I mean, they're kind of the same thing. And it's like, I, I have wondered, you know, if the touch-up was supposed to be, like, their Pro Series version of this. You know, because it has a little more power, slightly more features, I guess. So, I don't know, it kind of made me think of that, you know, especially with the blue. And I even heard from, a what's his name, Garrett or Gareth? The guy from... Uh, I want to say South Africa. He says he's even seen these in yellow, which I've never seen a yellow one before, but who knows. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with the testing. All right, here's our ambient voltage. Let's start it up. <laughs> Interesting that it leaves a little bit behind as it runs over spaces. I figured, you know, the uh, roommate, I think, scored in the 50s for CFM, and this, I think, is a little bit higher. Let's uh, take a quick look at the figures here. I don't know, just a little bit surprising. You know, you think with such a small brush roll cavity and the amount of airflow that it does have that it wouldn't be likely to leave anything behind. Though, you know, it might be the brush roll. They are a little sparse. Not like horribly. Eh, maybe not. Either way, you know, it's definitely kind of a quirky little design. So I hope you got the answer. 
that you were looking for here, man.